Hello YouTube, welcome back to another one of Geisel 13's Fruity Loop Studios tutorials. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make that very popular wobble bass noise or sample that you see in many dubstep and even drum and bass songs. First step you need to do is open up Fruity Loop Studios. Next, of course, you need your bass sample. In this case, I'm using Vanguard's Energy Bassline. One quick tip would be to put a soft clipper with the threshold turned all the way up in the post and the post uh, gain knob uh, set to where it no longer uh, peaks, to where your sample no longer peaks. Next step is to set your sample to a mixer insert. I chose mixer insert number one. Open up your free filter. Once your free filter is open, set it to low pass. The gain can be left alone. The Q can be turned up a little bit. That will change... Um, that'll make it sound a little bit better if it's turned up at about just below 50%. Next, open Fruity Formula Controller. Many presets will work. The one I'm going to use is the Basic Sign LFO. Ignore that. Uh, it's Toxic Biohazard. Now, at this point, I'd like to say that in the description, I offer a download uh, that contains all the presets uh, you'll need, a Fruity Loop Studios project template uh, with everything already done for you uh, to make the wobble base sample, and um, there will be a preset pack for, for Fruity Formula Controller and Fruity um, Envelope Controller. Okay. Anyway, back to the real tutorial. What you'll want to do is link the frequency knob on free filter to the internal controller formula controller and accept. Now it'll modulate the frequency based upon the basic sign LFO formula. Whoop de doo, you're done. But it's not that uh, it's not that interesting, you'd say. Uh, just a little background. The A knob will set the default value for the frequency knob. As you can see, I'm moving the A knob, and the frequency knob also moves in correlation with the A knob. I like to set it at around I guess you could call that 25 or just the notch below 50. B controls your amplitude of the sine wave. Sometimes that's good around 50. I take that back, the notch above 50. That sounds a little bit better, but we can do more. Let's add an envelope controller. Delete those two knobs and set these two within that first beat right there at 0%. Make them even. Turn the base level, this guy, all the way up to 100. Turn LFO all the way up to 100. Now go to key. Drag drag the leftmost uh, point to about negative 95% and the rightmost point at positive 100%. Now add another point 
and another point at the same height as the points closest to them that'll give you a, a greater slope now what this will do is when you have your melody instead of just a single instead of just a single uh, rate of modulation um, when you play in your piano roll different notes on the envelope controller oh my bad before that you must link the C knob or the rate knob to your envelope controller articulation one now when you play different MIDI notes on your envelope controller the C knob will uh, will change its rate. The most basic example is to just copy and paste your bass melody into your envelope controller and it should sound a little something like this. As you can see, the higher the MIDI note is, the faster uh, the frequency, uh, the change uh, in the rate of frequency modulation is. Uh, so that's the most basic. You can change the notes in um, in the envelope controller for a more interesting sound. Let's see how that sounds. <laughs> Okay, uh, that's basically it for how to make a wobble bass noise and also how to change the rate of frequency modulation um, at, uh, depending on the note you want to play or depending on the position of the song. Uh, just a couple notes in your envelope controller. You can adjust you can adjust the slope by bringing in the the two inner points. Uh, the greater the slope, the greater the change uh, in rate. Um, changing the notes in the envelope controller will change the the rate. The most basic being just copy and paste your bass melody, so that the higher the note, the faster. The, the change in frequency. Um, also, the A knob defines the start, the default position for your frequency cutoff. The B knob controls your amplitude, and the C knob controls your rate. That's in the formula controller. And once again, I have other tutorials on my YouTube page. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe. I also have other tutorials and written walkthroughs uh, and text walkthroughs on http colon forward slash forward slash uh, flstudioshelp.blogspot.com check it out uh, you might find some things there that can prove to be very helpful uh, and again there's a link in the description to download all the presets I've used and even a free loop studios template um, to use on creating a wobble bass. There's also a free song. Thanks, and have a good one.